Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share my experience staying at Intercontinental Fiji Golf Resort and Spa. It's nestled in beautiful tropical gardens along Natdona Beach, which is known as one of the best beaches worldwide. We will explore the road, watch the torch lighting ceremony, go jet skiing, snorkeling, check out the Intercontinental Club and try some delicious dining. If you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. The resort is situated quite a distance from the city center. Our taxi ride from the airport to the hotel took about an hour and 20 minutes. Regrettably, there is no public transportation available and according to the official website, shuttle bus services are not provided either. Upon our arrival at the hotel, it was already late, yet bustling with the activity. When checking, the staff provided complimentary fit water. Oh, it's a nice place for lunch. It's near the pool, family pool, adult pool. All right, now it's time to head to our room. It's indeed very dark at night. Our room is on the second floor, but don't worry, you will get to see the daytime view. To be honest, the room feels a bit dated with amenities resembling those at the Fiji Shratton. There was a moment when I almost thought I was actually at the Shratton. The lighting in the room is quite dim, and while the room itself isn't particularly remarkable or luxurious, the service is purpose. What's really intriguing is that the bathtub is on the balcony. Guess if I tried it out there. The bathroom amenities are also quite basic, so if you are particular about that, it might be a good idea to bring your own. Good morning, let's officially begin our hotel experience daily. The view from our balcony is still quite nice. Now, come join me for breakfast. In the hotels we've stayed at in Fiji, both Hilton and Stratton have such pathways that are very relaxing. It's quite delightful. It's worth mentioning that even though it's still early morning, it's best to apply sunscreen for protection. For breakfast today, we dined at the Naval restaurant. Breakfast is served from 7.30 to 10.30 am. Please note that this restaurant only allows adults for breakfast. Friends with children can head it to another restaurant called Sana Sana. We'll be going there tomorrow morning. Navo has a nice ambience, offering both buffet and a la carte options for breakfast. And the food is quite delicious. If you're without kids, Navo is definitely the top choice for breakfast. After breakfast, we went for a stroll by the seaside. Feeling the gentle breeze from the ocean, it was truly blissful. Fiji is really hot. We had to come back to the room to reapply sunscreen. The hotel offers a wide range of exciting hydro sports activities. This time we tried jet skiing, which was a lot of fun, it was thrilling and I had an absolute blast. To be honest, this area isn't ideal for snorkeling.
it would be a shame to visit the island without enjoying some cold drinks. Coming back and finding the room all cleaned up is such a relief. Had lunch at Toba Bar and Grill. I ordered an ice long black and a poke bowl, but it was really average. After lunch, we took a stroll around the hotel and stumbled upon some handicrafts. I have quite the appetite. I went back to the hotel and indulged in some fruits I bought from the market. They were super sweet. The weather station is so creative. I loved it. After eating too much, I'm off to the gym for a run. The gym here is really nice. What's worth mentioning is that the hotel offers different free activities every day. When you check in, there's a little magazine in your room with a weekly schedule of activities such as yoga, morning jogs, litter for a latte, hermit crab hunting, scuba diving pool splash, hermit crab race, volleyball, sunset stretch, fire show, dance, nimbo, and so on. It's very interesting. Basically, if you stay here for a week, you definitely won't get bored. The Intercontinental Lounge has a very secluded vibe. The view is stunning. I could just sit here and enjoy the scenery without eating anything. And it would still be wonderful. Of course, being a foodie, I've eaten and had my feel. And it's quite good. I highly recommend coming here. Next up is my super recommended torch lighting ceremony. It happens every day starting at 6.45 p.m. instantly immersing you in the Fiji vibe.
time to thank each and every beautiful souls that are here this great afternoon witnessing how we do torch lighting ceremony. This is how we do it back in the time, back in the days, back in the village. Whatever you're doing, wherever you are, when you hear the drum, when you hear the conch, when you see the fire, drop everything. It's a moment of silence. It's a moment we honor and it's a moment we respect. If you move or do anything during torch lighting ceremony, you will be removed from the village. You're going to look for another place to settle. All right? So yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is torch lighting ceremony. Also, I will take this time to thank for everyone's here for choosing Intercontinental Fiji as your home away from home. Hope you guys are making a memorable stay. Hope you guys are making an incredible stay. And you all look beautiful this afternoon. Well, don't go anywhere, grab a drink, sit back while our in-house band will entertain us throughout this afternoon while we wait for our fire show at 7.30. Well, once again, thank you very much and have a blessed night. Blaka. Blaka. I made it again, eating. I highly recommend dinner at Navo. The view here is absolutely stunning. It's emotionally fulfilling. The service is very, very slow, but the taste is excellent. And with such a beautiful view, slowing down a bit is just fine. Good morning. Today we are checking out. Because our flight back to Sydney is quite early, we are heading straight to breakfast with our luggage. We chose to eat at Sana Sana today. Breakfast is served from 7am to 10.30am. But there's a continental breakfast available earlier from 6.30am to 7am. As mentioned earlier, this restaurant allows children and is mostly buffet style. Breakfast quality is average, personally I prefer novel. Overall this day was excellent and I really enjoyed the vibe of this hotel. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. See you for in the, the next video. In ages, I wake up and don't hate it. I guess I found some peace. Through the day to the evening, without shouting and screaming. Something new to me. Along with that being. Just how it goes.